these cats straight. Is it gross? Mm -hmm. Oh. The claws come out. The North Country Sea Dog. Don't come after me. Grab the dog. Grab Barney's back leg. This way. Get the dog, not me. You're harassing everybody. Hey, hey. You want your toes, huh? Huh? You want your toes. No. Well known and becoming. See? Joe, that jacket was good on you. Oh, yeah. Look at that. 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 They were there for a family when a mother was seriously injured. And if you or a loved one is seriously injured, they'll be there for you. Call B. Francisco and Val Gitano at 479-9000. Serious lawyers for serious injuries. No, 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 you're choking on it. And a very good Here. Tuesday to you, snow Here. and chilly temperatures, even the way that the big story across northern New York. <laughs> uh, we're getting some snow from the storm in Quebec that's throwing back moisture to the south. Uh, the snow <laughs> down the forecast. You see two inches. He's going to bite and barn it back away. Blowing snow, especially in exposed open areas of the wind really can move through unabated. Uh, Six o'clock, still a threat for snow showers in the mid-20s. Temperatures not moving too much, be it up or be it down with a spot cover. And snow showers around through 9, again, mid-20s at 9 o'clock. Beyond today, let's check the extended forecast uh, for tomorrow. Still a threat for flurries and snow showers, especially as far as the south for us. We have an algae. 25, a cold day Thursday, there may be a morning snow shower, but I think at least a little sun. We may be in the single digits to near zero Friday morning, watching the storm for Sunday and Monday. What's in what? Judge Judy, we judge at 7 and 7.30 on ABC 50. She was having a sexual relationship with another man in his jealous rage. He started acting very angry, and he got violent. Turn into a brutal attack. In that case. In that case. You are about to enter the courtroom of the Jewish Shriver. The people are real. The cases are real. The rulings are final. This is Judge Judy. Roman Boyd is suing his ex-girlfriend, Rosa Galva, for disposing of his belongings and for the return of rent. Order. All right. United States on the 407 on the town of Meadow. Warden versus Gal. Thank you. You're welcome, Judge. Pies have been sworn in. You may be seated. Folks, have a seat. Mr. Warden, you and the defendant, according to you, lived on and off together for about 10 years and you have two children, which is sort of interesting because you say you have two children, but you're not sure that they're your children, they have not DNA testing now, but you're in a custody battle with her, which is sort of odd. In any event, on a specific day that you will tell me about, you were arrested and taken into custody for domestic violence. And since you had paid rent for that month, and since you had a protective order that kept you from going home, you want the prorated rent for that month. And in addition, you want certain property that you claim you left behind that you couldn't get. So far, do I have it right? Um, you're almost there. Um, you know, uh, I have an email out there that says that she took my items and she threw them in the trash and gave me the goodwill. And I have the email from her that states that she did that. Do I have the scenario correct? Just about. Okay. Just about, yeah. You don't have to tell me when this incident was, please. Okay, um, on January 20th, I came home from work, and the family came home, and she got into a... Came okay. home from where? She came home from work, or at school, and she had a... She got into an argument with me. Unbeknownst to me, she was having an inappropriate sexual relationship with another man, and in order to get me out of the house, the argument ensued, so she could bring this man into the house, and, you know, go on with her inappropriate 
sexual relationship. Mm -hmm. um, this isn't the first time that Ms. Gala has been involved in an inappropriate sexual relationship. She has had affairs with both men and women. Mr. Morgan, I have to tell you something. Then I think you are actually a pretty repulsive guy. Okay. Because what <coughs> you tell me, is this your mother? Yes, this is my mother. Well, you didn't raise a very nice man, madam. Because have you been a grandmother to these two children? Well, if I could see them. Well, I assume over the 10 years of the on-again, off-again relationship, you've got to see them. Is that a fair statement? That's a fair statement. Fine. I don't know why a man with whom someone had two children and who was engaged in a custody battle for those two children would want to come on national television in front of 10 million people here at home and hundreds of millions of people all over the world and make accusations against the mother of his children that have absolutely no bearing on what he wants, which is the return of his property. I actually think it's quite disgusting, Mr. Warden. Okay, can I finish? And the fact that you can't stay still suggests to me, sir, that you have a temper that I haven't seen yet. Do we understand each other? Yes, ma'am. Perfect. Now, you've been together on and off, according to you, for 10 years. Yes, ma'am. When you've been off, Mr. Warden, how many relationships have you had with other people? One. Other than Yes. No. But not behind her back. Just a second, sir. I didn't ask you that. And I don't even know if that's true. I doubt it. You have only these two children, Mr. Warden? I have a 22-year-old son. So you have another child. That's why I paid child support for 18 years.